Ava ki moho wina, moho wina, moho wina. <laughs> so I'm Julia Bogarty. I'm the um, elderly resident at Claremont College. I've been here 12 years. I am president of Kuruwanga Springs, and Kuruwanga Springs means where the sun hits your face. The importance of it is that it is that sacred site. It's a it's not where people think it was like a village, but it's it's a place where we kind of meet, right? Why would we go to the ocean to bathe the salty water when you have natural spring water there? So it has natural springs, there's eight natural springs, there's the little lake, and it has a waterfall. And yeah. It's right in the middle of Santa Monica. And right, yeah, right down on Santa Monica Boulevard in Barrington. Wow. So it's really cool to be right downtown. So the gatherings that we have there at Kuruwanga are for to teach the people about our, our culture and uh, the dances that they come and bring that we're still dancing today. We're still here in existence. Our dancers come out and we have uh, tables showing uh, arts and crafts, so the tangba. And um, it just, it's just a great, it's like a peaceful place for people to go to. So we had a, a land acknowledgement then we did a uh, blessing of the water. When um, uh, North Dakota was fighting for their water, we had several people come there, and we had like four blessings of the water because it all affects us, right? It's not, it doesn't only affect North Dakota, it'll come down to us. So I have Aztecas come uh, to do be part of it, and also the Mayak to show, okay. and this year we had the Paiute come, okay. which was important, it's about those relationships and then the public's all invited right so every place I go teach I talk about there's the springs come visit the springs right and so I have classes like on Wednesdays people can make an appointment and I'll go teach there okay. so that um, they can bring they bring from preschoolers up to you know okay. college students to see okay. what the springs looks like so they'll you know it's we're a tribe that's not federally recognized, we're seen as, uh, we're a state recognized tribe, but it's like important for, for us to be seen, right? And people to know that we're still here. Yeah. Um, we're not in history, right? Yeah. The California history starts with the gold rush. It doesn't start with the tribes, or it's, it'll be the tribes that came in the 1950s from a relocation, so. And they don't recognize us because they think they came to paradise and we weren't here. <laughs> you know? You know, they had taken us all out, but uh, we're still here. And so that's my whole thing is to be visible in the community. Well, federal recognition is a long um, process, right? They change the laws every year, like anything else. So I think that uh, at this point in my life I see, I don't see federal recognition happening, but I do see the people being acknowledged as being here by the people, right? So I, so I taught preschool like for 35 years, but I've been here like 12 years and I teach at several colleges and I think it's the young people that are voting now who can say these people are here, you know. And it's, it's that acknowledgement of who the people are and showing, I think that's what my work is now at this point, is to continue to show our presence, you know.